Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a few little tips and pointers. It's not going to be completely like direct, it's not going to be focused on any single one. I'll kind of just go over the things that, you know, make you better at these sort of tracks. These rough tracks, these new pro tracks, as uh, they're calling them nowadays. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, are here to learn and here to take in some notes and maybe just uh, reassure a few things that you know. But uh, I currently have... Um, I currently have 16, 1700 hours, something like that, um, on this game. And so we're going to be headed into here with quite a bit of knowledge on the game, I'm not going to lie. And if I do say so myself, <clears throat> I'm not the worst player to touch it. So, um, I don't know. I feel like, um, I feel like I'm a, I'm a trusted source. It's not one of those tips from someone that maybe has you know 500 hours that you're like gang on this only works for some people or or something like that but let's hop right into it let's uh tell you my first one and my first one is probably what you got to do watching me some most of the time is just have patience all right so um me most of the time i understand if uh you need some patience but you also need that in the game you know it's um definitely worth to have patience you're not trying to zoom the whole track like if you come in here guns a blazing you know, and don't slow down, you try to rail that corner every time, you're most likely going to make a mistake, you don't let off the throttle to get that line there, you're going to most likely uh, be in a worse position, you're going to lose some time possibly, and then um, we're hopping up here to one place that you got to be um, not extremely patient, but like, it's probably better to be patient than not, but between the top of this hill, right here, that we're going to jump up here, so if you want to land inside, patiently hook this inside, right? obviously not as slow as that, that is ridiculous but um you want to do that and then this section right here in these little switchbacks where you can go like inside like this and then slow down quite a bit to get that inside quite nicely obviously i'm overdoing it a little bit on that but um yeah i don't know i feel like that's just one place you could use your patience and and uh it could really really help you if you're if you're taking your time and, and being away right there now next thing is anticipation so you kind of want to you know predict and put yourself in the best okay oh i thought i thought we were dead for sure so i wasn't even gonna think about coming back down and around but the bike wanted to live but uh the, the thing you want to think about with anticipation you just want to put your bike in the best spot to succeed and make it easier on you so like for example you're gonna like jump outside here i'm not going dead inside so you know you can cut down this corner whatever it is you're gonna you're gonna jump you know, if you're saying you want to go, you know, I'll go back up here. It's really hard to explain if, now that I'm thinking about it. If you want to go inside here, right, you don't just go to the inside where things are rough and tough. So you want to jump outside where there isn't that roughness. So you see all the roughness over there. You want to avoid that and just go down like that. And then um, that way you put yourself in that position. And then um, you can you know, obviously come down here. Do, do the thing down there and then anticipation you want to anticipate this next upcoming little double here is I've gone over it twice now that's not not like me I greased it the first time around I think so um, unfortunate but uh, yeah I don't know you just, you just want to put yourself in the best spot so you know whether that's anticipating the next jump next corner next line that you want to take you just go ahead I mean Right here, you're never going to jump to, like, the complete left side unless you're taking, you know, the other line. You want to keep doing this, and then up here, obviously, you want to stay a little bit more on the right side to get that berm. And then uh, you want to come down here, and we're going to go for the squillium line. Can't get it. But, yeah, just, just all I'm saying is have a little anticipation. Think about where you're going. Think about what you're doing next, and prepare for it a little early to... Um, you know just anticipate it it's, it's that simple and this next tip is going to help you guys tremendously this is one i always kind of underrate i guess it is the sit and standing mechanic down in the bottom right you can see the rider you know um it's like the the red thing down at the bottom so when it's on when the red light is on at the bottom there it means i'm standing when it's off means i'm sitting and if you guys want to look at my controller overlay the circle button is my sit and stand, so you guys can really see how much I use it. Um, that helped me a lot learning the game and like how to play. It was when I'd always watch Linz. I'd watch when he's sitting and standing up and then eventually got the hang of it. And uh, so yeah, I don't know. It's just really, really funny the fact that it all kind of comes full circle here now that I'm telling you guys 
to do what I did. But uh, what helped me a lot was watching, you know, Lynn's sit and stand. I don't, I don't really know how else to say it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, so we're going to go down there. But the main thing is you want to sit when you're, you know, cornering, when you need to be precise, when there's not as much rough. So like up here, settle into the corner, sit down, go around. And then now that there's that lift, obviously I'm going to do that. That's a little bit more advanced. But through here, I'm standing through the whole thing. It's just bumps and then get over the bump, sit down, take that corner, and then you guys see me, I use my sit and stand a lot, dude. I mean, I don't think, not anybody else doesn't use it this much, but like, I think I use it a fair amount compared to the average, probably top bikes players, or like top, you know, 100 bikes players, I don't think that too many use it more than me, I'm not gonna lie, I use it quite a bit, I use it quite loosely as well. Like, I use it every takeoff, every, like, scrub. It, it's just really particular. I've gotten to habits of just using it when maybe it's not 100% needed, but I don't know. It helps me. So, like, obviously, it takes that roughness really well. And then if you're going to land, you know, land it nicely and you think you're coming up short on something or whatever, it just helps to watch in scenarios. Okay, is he sitting or standing at this point? So, I don't know. I recommend watching a lot of lens me and all that good stuff when they are sitting and standing or when we are sitting and standing and you can learn quite a bit off of that for sure so yeah i don't know sitting and standing is a huge one and um yeah i don't know i guess on to the next actually it's going to work on this corner right here with throttle control you don't just want to wham it on and then like fall out of line here and then you know funnel back in instead you want to keep kind of keep that corner a little bit tighter you want to kind of ease on the throttle make sure you don't spin out if you're going to square it up or anything and then back here i'm not 100 percent throttle and then go up here i'm going to go ahead and be standing this whole time and then we're going to go zoom back down here second gear get around here you know how i'm not like just absolutely trying to rail every corner using some throttle control down here as well not fully on the throttle just kind of halfway on halfway off just trying to get it down there we go we're starting to get that <laughs> that inside roller finally dialed and then uh you want to come up here and uh, this this corner has been weird to me recently i don't know why i seriously don't it's been so like just off for me like i'll land up here in third gear and then for some reason like i'll either cut in too far like i can't ride it normally anymore so that's always new but down here is a huge one as well i'm not leaving like i'm kind of tapping the throttle while i'm on top of those rollers harder to explain but another one that you could just look down at a controller overlay and watch when someone's like halfway on the throttle or anything like up here sure i might like kind of you know like bra, 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 bra you know like it's not like a full-on i'm trying to blow that berm out it's kind of you're taking your time you're trying not to mess up you're trying to only go a certain speed so you don't you know miss something or whatever it is and the fact is that it is just making the game easier on you if you're just going your your own pace and using throttle control and this kind of leads into the next uh tip i have for you guys and that is stick to your pace so don't try to overdo yourself every lap especially in a race go your pace wherever you land you'll land wherever you pass or whoever you'll pass is just where you'll pass it's it's not it's not significant to go mach 10 when you're only capable of going mach 5 you know it's just not it's just not fun all right you're gonna crash a lot more and then you're only going to get better if you stick to your pace and then realize where you can get better and fix those things so say all right for example say i'm running two 18s like i am it's not fast at all but these are with crashes pauses and all that good stuff so say you're running two 18s right so try to stick to that pace don't try to go okay i want to run a 214 on this lap like like i just wouldn't have that mindset so what you're going to try to do is you're gonna try to just wheel it around at the speed you're comfortable at you know you ever see jet lawrence race a race it's kind of what he does he kind of manages it he kind of just goes his speed uses lines he's comfortable with you know you're not trying to absolutely cap off the field when you know you're not capable you're gonna go your pace and i wouldn't be worried about the other people in your server lobby race whatever it is uh, or your best lap time i even i mean like if you're capable of it cool but don't think that you're you're amazing at it like don't think that you could just run that that lap every lap now I've, ever since i ran my fastest lap i haven't even reached within you know half a second of it now because i mean obviously i'm not playing the game at all but um 
I don't know. It's just really hard to explain. You just got to try to stick to your pace. You don't want to, you want to slowly inch up on getting better. You don't want to just all of a sudden make such a huge leap where you're, you're going like this, this fast right here. You're going second gear and you're jumping over this and you might be casing it and then straight line, you know, you might want to jump up here instead of like, you know, trying to blow out every berm, you know, you don't want to ease onto that or you do want to ease onto that. Don't listen to me. You want to, you don't want to just like, okay, I'm just going to hit the throttle this whole lap. You don't want to do that. You just kind of want to ease it on, get better slowly. In my opinion, in my personal experience, it's a lot better just trying to better your pace over time instead of the course between one lap, like lap one and lap two. You don't want to, you don't just want to be like, okay, this lap's going to be fast and then go. You just kind of want to run your stuff and then you're like, oh, I can make up time there. Go ahead and take that. Okay, I can make up time here. Okay, I think I can go a little bit faster here. Every single lap, that'll just keep building to the point you're on a consistently good pace. And it'll get better, and you'll still make mistakes because you're still learning. But, I don't know. Some things that just help with me is, you know, trying to stick to my pace, especially. Throttle control is not as significant as sitting and standing, but sitting and standing is huge. Um, anticipation and patience are kind of just, not race IQ, but you just kind of want to learn you know those things you kind of want to learn the track basically um and where you've got to back off the throttle and all that good stuff so um yeah that'll do it for me thank you guys for watching this is a, a fun video to make so um definitely be making more like this if you guys uh enjoy this one so i'll see y'all next time